Bullying is when we have a repetitive, aggressive behavior happening by one person or a group of people, and it is a perceived imbalance of power. So bullying is intentional, and it's making someone feel bad about themselves in various ways. There are many types of forms that bullying can take. Physical bullying involves things like spitting, hitting, pushing, um, pulling of the hair, anything that we deem to be unsafe using physical touch. Verbal bullying are things that we say. Um, sometimes that can be um, things that we say to other people about someone or to someone's face. Social bullying, that can range from a lot of things. It could be social bullying here at school where again, we're leaving kids out for a certain reason. Cyberbullying, we see unfortunately some of this a lot and it might be a conversation that might only happen between the person that's doing the bullying and the person being bullied or it can be um, on snapchat where it goes viral and all of a sudden somebody's posted a picture of you that's really embarrassing and there's a comment about you that now 50 people in your school have seen in the, in, the, in the last five minutes we really encourage our kids to not only let their parents know at home but also let us know so a bystander is when you are not necessarily involved in the bullying, but you're watching it happening. And that is almost just as bad as being the bully because we know that it's wrong and we are not doing something about it. But an upstander is when the person uh, does step in and either checks on that student one-on-one -on -one and offers to go uh, tell a teacher what's going on with them and report the bullying, or it could be them standing up to the bully and saying, hey, that's not okay, that's not how we do things here, it's not how we treat each other. You the Help Me app if you don't feel comfortable telling an adult. They can go online. Luckily, that's on every district device, so they have access to it. We also have our district website where students are able to report bullying as well. One of the things that students can do to prevent bullying is thinking about what they're saying before they say it or actions that they have. Make sure you are standing up for each other, using kind words, supporting one another. I always tell my kids to really um, be empathetic. Thinking about, will this, will this hurt me? Would this make me feel bad? So online, um, always, always, always make sure that you are being aware of what you're posting. Um, if you see something that's wrong, don't share it. Um, maybe report it to an adult. One of the things that I think as adults, we forget that kids watch and kids are always watching us and they learn from what we're doing. Making sure that you're setting a good example for how you want your um, students to deal with conflict, how you want them to approach situations. It would be awesome if families could check in with their child when they come home. Um, I know it's a dreaded question sometimes for parents because we get the same answer of, oh, it was fine, it was just okay, um, but really using prompting questions. Well, tell me one thing that you learned today or tell me one thing that went really great. Did anything happen that I should know about? Sometimes it's really easy to talk about the good things that happen and it's harder to talk about the not so good things so opening up those conversations around what can we do to encourage our kids to share the things that are not going well can be very helpful it breaks my heart when i do have students come to me saying that they are being picked on and it does measure up to that bullying standard um, i always let students know that they are never alone and i always make sure they know that i'm really proud of you for using your voice to come tell me or tell somebody that it's happening Thank you.